Welcome to the Oak Woodland. Uh, so uh, what you're looking at behind me is a little piece of an edge of an oak woodland found in Coyote Canyon here in Eaton Canyon. So it's a, a side canyon. Uh, and this is like the perfect condition, a uh, perfect uh, setting where you're going to find these oak woodlands. They go by many different names. You could call it sometimes North Slope Woodland, uh, you know, maybe mixed woodland. It, it really depends. Uh, you have similar kind of communities, uh, certainly for, further north in California, where it uh, tends to get a little bit more, um, a little bit more lush than here. Um, but yeah, this is mostly dominated by coast live oak. Yeah, live oak. So. Uh, for those of uh, people who are maybe from the south or know about the south uh, Gulf Coast, they might know about live oaks are very famous there. But um, uh, so these are related. Okay, they actually do have acorns. Uh, the acorns were uh, the staple di uh, part of the uh, diet or staple uh, natural food uh, that was consumed by a lot of the Native Americans, like the Chumash and the Tongva. It was like their granary. Okay, they they ate acorn flour. Uh, but these are the leaves. Okay. So, um, these do need more moisture. These communities need more moisture than the coastal sage scrub, but not as much as the riparian, okay? Uh, the water table is not necessarily that high here, but the reason why you get more moisture here is because even though it might get the same amount of rain as the coastal sage scrub, this area here is more protected from the sun. Places that are either on the north side of hills or again in a sheltered ravine, generally get less sun exposure. So whatever rain falls throughout the year, not as much of it evaporates over time. Okay, so it stays in the soil. It stays, uh, the soil stays moist. Uh, but again, unlike the sycamore that we saw, uh, these uh, leaves are a little sharper, they're a little harder, um, you know, they're, uh, um, you know, almost like slightly waxy on the surface. Again, that's a way to conserve moisture. Riparian trees, they can suck moisture up and, and uh, it can transpire through their leaves. Uh, and it's not going to really harm them because they can suck up more moisture from the high water table. Here, they still, these coast live oaks still have to conserve some moisture. They don't get as tall uh, and they can spread out because there's not as many of them. This is more of a woodland as opposed to a forest, okay? And um, the bark is thick to protect them from wildfires, so wildfire adaptation. Uh, and um, and uh, the shade of these coast live oaks also uh, conserve even more moisture by shading it further, thus allowing a lot more lush vegetation. Again, it's not going to be as thick and lush as we're going to find in the riparian, but you're still going to find a lot more lush uh, lushness. For example, this is one of the more common perennial plants, a vine that is called wild cucumber. Uh, if you're hiking in the trails uh, at certain time, at the, in the spring, you will find uh, these big bulbous fruits that are really spiky. These, this is actually wild cucumber, but these are not edible, okay? So do not attempt to eat them. They're actually toxic and they uh, are uh, covered in spines. There's no juice at all. There's no pulp. So do not eat them. Uh, the other kind of plant uh, that is also most common in the, these oak woodlands, more than any other of the plant communities, is one that I will not touch. Uh, and I will point it out in a future video, but I don't see any around here, and that is poison oak, okay? Uh, poison oak, uh, you're not going to find it as commonly in the coastal sage scrub, although if you go to northern California, you do typically see poison oak out in the open, out on ridge tops and ridge lines. Uh, but here in southern California, they're, they're found usually under the shade of these oak trees um, uh, most commonly, okay? So uh, wild cucumber, uh, poison oak, again, very common. Uh, the smaller shrub under these coast live oaks is actually toyon. Okay, toyon is a very famous shrub. In around uh, December, they start getting these red berries. Uh, and early settlers thought it reminded them of holly, because holly is used in, during Christmas time. And, so, and that's likely where Hollywood got its name. Toyon is very abundant in Griffith Park and uh, places near Hollywood, so that's where it gets its name. So um, some other trees you'll find here, uh, we'll point, I'll point them out maybe in a future uh, video, but uh, uh, usually along riparian and uh, woodland areas you will find uh, California Bay laurel tree, a uh, really nice smell to it, um, as well as in some places um, you uh, uh, 
uh, you also have a California walnut, uh, which is hardly found outside of LA County. So it's a very localized tree species. Again, something I'll point out in a future video. Uh, so this is our oak woodland, and with that, we're signing off.